Hello, my name is Evan. I'm an artist and today I'll be sharing how I create my realistic pencil drawings step by step. So you can use this as a guide to help you create your own really amazing sketches. So these are techniques that I taught myself over the years and they're really helpful for me. So I hope that you find them helpful too. Step one is to choose your image. So you can either decide to use your own photograph or you can choose an image from a stock image website. So Pixabay is a website that I use quite a lot for free reference images. You can use the search bar to look for the reference image you want and then you can download it. Always remember to look at the content license summary if you're using a stock photo so you know what you are and what you are not allowed to do with that image. Once you've selected your image, change the colour to grayscale on any software that you have and then print it out so that you have a physical copy. Step two is to choose your tools. So you'll need a variety of different pencils. So HB, 5B, 6B and 9B are the ones that I use the most. You'll also need erasers and these are the ones that I use. I absolutely love my electric eraser. Please just get one because they are a game changer and really great for detailed highlights. I use the kneaded eraser if I want to soften out dark lines. Step three is to draw the outline. There are three ways that you can do this. The first way is just by drawing on a blank piece of paper without any guide, just go for it. The second method, which I use quite a lot, is called the grid method. This is where you draw a grid of one inch by one inch squares on your reference image and your piece of paper and just draw into one square at a time. If you want to be really precise, you can use a ruler to get some measurements to make your drawing as close to the reference image as possible. And I think the grid method is just a, a really great way of simplifying a very complicated drawing. The third method is by using a light box. And I tend to do this when I have a commission or a really tight deadline because it just speeds up the whole process. A light box essentially allows you to trace your reference image so that you end up with a very accurate outline for the next and most important steps. Okay, so step four, the final step is the shading. Creating a realistic drawing is all about paying attention to the dark tones, the mid tones and the highlights, because these are the things that make an object look 3D. So I like to start off with a light gray tone over the whole area that I'm working on because this then helps me to judge the light tones, the dark tones and the mid tones better. I then find the darkest tones on my reference image and fill those in. And then it's kind of like a cycle. So after your dark tones have been put in, you can then judge your mid tones and adjust those accordingly. And then I like to leave the highlights until the last final touches. And you just keep going. So you adjust your dark tones, your mid tones and your highlights until you're happy with your drawing. So yeah, I hope that you found these tips helpful and I'd love to know what you end up creating. So leave a comment down below about which tip um, you found most helpful and what you're going to be drawing next.